Wouldn't you like to get a 3D representation or presentation of your real estate or apartment? Running as a completely web-based solution, you may add annotations, interactive links, and you may nicely showcase all the different levels and zones of interest. And of course, you may showcase what you would like to change, adding simple animations. That's actually easy to do with the help of the GUI editor and an integrated scanning app like Polycam on your iPad. The latter one you may use for receiving a 3D model of your apartment, which does not contain any of the uh, materials or furniture, more or less, it only contains geometry. You may use the Polycam app, for instance, in the so-called room mode. And by slowly walking through your apartment, you will derive the geometry of the respective rooms. And it's really intelligent. So if you combine it, for instance, with several rooms, it may recognize kitchen furniture or typical devices which may be suitable afterwards. Your 3D model of a certain room or even maybe a whole level will constantly grow this way. And finally, you simply export it, for instance, as a GLTF or respectively GLB file. And then you switch to the online version of the GUI editor, go to your media library and upload it directly from your device. That's very quickly and usually the file should be relatively small. Alternatively, if you have the pro version, you can also download or export a floor plan and by giving it a suitable name, you may use it later after in the presentation. And here we go. You may now switch to another device like your laptop, if that's easier for you, but you can of course generate your presentation on the iPad as well. Giving it a suitable name and choosing the appropriate files, you can create a presentation all at once. And now if we go into it, we simply import the models, we may change the slides, and then of course, get some additional effects. For instance, we may change the background color just as we like it. And of course, for the different chapters or slides, you may give them characteristic names or title. And if they are bookmarked, they appear as a table of contents at the very end. Annotation labels are a very useful feature for defining the functionality of a certain area or room. Alternatively, we have hotspots. They are used to define an interactive link or jump within a presentation. Clicking the preview button now helps us to review what we've done so far. If we would like to combine models then we can use the so-called asset editor. In this case, we have two floors and we recorded them separately. So we want to combine them now. And first of all, we're giving them respective names, level one and level two office here. As you see, it's very easy to click on one model as a whole and move it or rotate it so that we get a suitable overall model. Finally, we would like to create a simple animation. In this case, let's move a wall. So after defining a suitable name, we also reduce the time. Three seconds should be enough. We have a simple timeline here and by choosing the part and moving it within one or two seconds to a certain part, and again, defining the keyframe, we define the animation. At the very end, we export the file and via drag and drop, we re-import it 
it's done within seconds. Let's return now to our presentation and create a new slide where we add the whole model. We may adjust the visibility of certain levels. Also, let's add some more annotations right now and fine-tune the whole presentation. So we can always move the camera and move the gizmo to a certain part. Last but not least, we would like to add media files, in this case photographs, let's say, of our floor plans. Another fine-tuning effect is setting the lighting or rather the environment and you may test it a little bit through and if you find the appropriate setting you can simply copy and paste these settings. Activating the animation which shows the wall that should be moved finalizes the presentation. And if there is something more to say we can add some additional hints just as we're used to in a PowerPoint or Word file. So typing in text choosing the font and font size, and of course the color. And probably this is the most important thing to explain to someone else what should be changed. And this is it. Publishing is not a big thing. You create a share link and this may be shared yeah, to anyone. You can also create a QR code and finally, everybody can go through the presentation and its parts at his own speed. Have fun.